good evening, everybody. And thank you for coming in for another launch from EMAR uh, for 2020. This is the third launch we're going to have in this uh, calendar year. We've had two launches uh, earlier which have been extremely successful. And without further ado, I'll take you through the presentation for today's briefing. Uh, first things first, the results for EMAR for 2019 performance are out. We've had a phenomenal run in 2019 thanks to all your support and the complete trust that all our investors have shown in us for the last 20 years. We've had a growth in the brand value of almost 40%. We've seen growth in the net profits to an extent of 27%. The margin has grown by 27%. And last but not the least, our property sales in UAE, in a market which is in this condition, has grown by 52%. So let's give ourselves a huge round of applause for the amazing performance in 2019. I'm going to hand over the mic to my colleague, uh, Mohammad Jabri from the development team. He's going to give you a quick update on what's happening as far as the construction status is concerned for Dubai Kiri Kaaba, and then we'll move into the product launch. Over to you. Thank you, Michelle. So before I start talking about connectivity at Dubai Creek Harbor, which we have been moving very fast on, Imar as a world-class developer has managed to deliver world-class master plans uh, in Dubai, like Dubai, uh, Dubai Marina, which is focused all about the water. Emirates Living, which is all about leisure and greenery, and of course downtown, which is the destination today. So with this in mind, Dubai Creek Harbor is a combination of all of uh, Mars' best communities into one. With this in mind, we have been working hard, like I said, on the infrastructure. We have already completed the Bay Bridge, which you guys already drove on at the south side. The uh, northern bridge, where C is, uh, is almost completed this year as well. It's coming up very soon. And a convenient access to Dubai Festival City and the Dubai Airport is coming up also later this year. With this also in mind, we are going to be having water taxi towards uh, downtown Dubai and of course in the future the metro station. Creek Island, as we zoom in, will host a wide array of districts, like Creek Marina where we stand here today, completed and done. The Island Park, which we will reveal as well today, one of the greatest parks developed in Dubai. And Creek Key at the footsteps of the current project we're launching today, along of course with the Palace Hotel address and the Vida right behind me. At Dubai Creek Marina, where we stand here today, it's our first delivery of a district here. And as you can see, the quality speaks for itself. We have in birth for uh, we have 81 berths at the marina, as well with the yacht club and the Vida Hotel already open and functional and operating. We of course, as you can see around you, we have different art installations hanging either between the buildings or right behind you towards the marina itself. So when somebody purchases a unit or a home with Imar, they're not just getting a home, they're getting also the community as well. And today I take the pleasure of revealing uh, the island park at Dubai Creek Island. So with this, it's a 60,000 square meter park, basically, and it will host a wide array of different programs like amphitheater, skate parks, kids play areas, and splash pads. It's really a testament to the community that we're trying to communicate to, to deliver at the Bike Creek Harbor. Our renders here, which will hopefully become reality soon, are basically showing the social lifestyle that we are creating on the island and in the park itself. It will co provide convenient access from different towers right down to the community itself, bringing people together. We will have different F&B locations for all, age, for all ages, from uh, kids to adults as well. So everybody can actually come down and utilize the park. Of course, my personal favorite render is the splash pad. Of course, we can't forget about Creek Beach, a 300 meter long beach, a technical marvel really, at Dubai Creek Harbor where people will actually come together and it will really provide a return to our investors. And with this in mind today, I want to just wrap up to say that we are working really hard at delivering 2,800 units this year at Creek Island alone. And by the end of 2020, we will be able to host our residents at 8,000 basically. the end of the launch of another project in Dubai Creek Harbor on the island which is Creek Palace. We've had amazing success with the palace residences we launched. This is a tower which is adjacent 
to the Palace Hotel. You have on-demand luxury services, a la carte services. You have a concierge, you have a valet. Uh, you have amazing amenities. You have the, now the island park in close proximity, which will commence construction soon and also finish construction very soon. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Have a nice evening. Thank you, everyone. Good evening, everyone. Right now, I'm in Dubai Creek Harbor, and Imar has just launched Creek Palace. After the successful launch of Palace Residences last year. Now they are coming up with new style and new building which is called Creek Palace. And we are getting a very attractive payment plan here which is 60% we will pay during construction and 40% over two years post handover payment plan. Don't forget 50% Dubai Land Department waiver.